Disclaimer All the materials and examples used in this video are only for educational purpose. Hacking or attempting to hack anything without permission is illegal. Hey guys, Venki here. Hope you all doing good. Welcome back to another episode of my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux on a VMware Workstation 15. It is really a very simple to set up a virtual Kali Linux on a Windows machine. I assume you have already installed a VMware Workstation 15 player on your Windows machine. All we need is some Kali Linux image file. We can download that from Kali Linux website. Go to Google and then type Kali Linux. It will take you to Kali.org website where we can navigate to download section. Then click on download Kali Linux menu. It will take us to a download page where we can see multiple image files. Just choose which image file is suitable for us. I'm going to download 64-bit Kali Linux image. If we click on that link, it will start downloading. The download will take a while because the size is in gigabytes. As we can see, my download got completed and I stored that into a folder. This is the ISO file which will be used to create a virtual Kali Linux machine. So go back to VMware player where click on create new virtual machine. Keep the option as I will install the operating system later because uh, let's set up the virtual machine setting first then we can give the ISO file. Um, when you click on next you can see option to choose the operating system uh, pick Linux and then we need to ch choose the version so i'm going to choose um, the linux version which is nothing but uh, debian uh, 10 64 bit and click on next next we will be asked to give a name for virtual machine and the location for the virtual machine so i'm going to keep Kali uh, as the virtual machine name when my virtual machine will be stored under this folder then continue next it will prompt you to choose the disk capacity so i would suggest to keep 100 uh, gb uh, as the maximum disk size and then um, choose an option to keep multiple uh, disk files then go next we can see the summary of your changes so name location of virtual machines uh, whatever we configured so far then click on customize hardware uh, option where we can customize the uh, processor and uh, memory information by default it picked two gigabytes let's increase that to eight gigabytes for better performance and then go to processor settings where we can change it from one to four four processors would be uh, good for a Kali Linux machine because Kali Linux machine by default comes with plenty of hacking tools uh, this will be a good configuration so now we are all set it's a time to provide iso image file whatever we downloaded earlier so go to that option and uh, choose use iso image file and then um, provide that um, uh, iso file location perfect we completed the virtual machine setting click on close and um, uh, click on finish and the main wizard uh, we are good to start the virtual machine also we can notice newly created Kali Linux machine is listed on the left side menu where you can click on play virtual machine option to start the virtual machine now uh, we'll be taken to Kali Linux installer menu where we can see multiple options let us go with the graphical installation that is um, easy to start uh, our process this graphical installation will take us um, to a guided installation steps where um, we need to choose the language first and then provide the location then choose your um, keyboard click on continue it will start the installation once the installation started it will prompt us to provide the host name i'm going to keep Kali as the host name 
in between i am prompted to install vmware tools whenever this happens click on install tools which will enable additional uh, vmware tools capability and then continue with your kali linux installation it will prompt us to provide domain name i'm not going to use any domain because i'm setting up at my home so i'm just uh, leaving it blank and click uh, continue next steps are uh, really important where we need to configure the first user of this kali linux machine who will be having super admin privileges so i'm providing user id and password click continue then uh, configure the clock you can uh, choose any one of the time zone and then continue next it will be prompting us to configure the uh, disk partitions go with uh, guided options then uh, choose all files in one partition that is recommended for uh, virtual machine continue next once done click on yes to write the disk information we need to uh, click continue it will configure the disk information then it might prompt you to put the http proxy information leave it blank which is not required for a individual machine and then click continue after some time it will prompt us to choose the software selection where we can leave the default section as it is the main one here is xfce which is the default desktop uh, kali linux environment if you want to install some other additional uh, softwares you can click on that too and then continue your installation again this will take some time to install all the required software then it might ask us to choose the grub boot loader click yes and then continue and then choose the hard disk for grub boot loader which should be dev slash sda this is the last step of the installation click continue it must uh, take some time and then says installation finished so here we have successfully installed kali linux on a virtual machine uh, click continue it will start booting kali linux here we go kali linux started loading leave that uh, first option as it is because uh, um, we are going to have a GUI uh, environment enabled so we need to use the username and password what we have said during the installation perfect we are able to log in and um, uh, call it an X is completely uh, set up for us we can navigate through um, start menu where we can see plenty of uh, default uh, call it an X tools installed as I mentioned, this Kali Linux machine comes with a bunch of uh, default uh, powerful tools which can be used by um, hackers or penetration testers. That's all guys. Um, hope this video helps. Happy hunting. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Stay tuned. See you in the next video.